Hey everyone, this is Shane with Toss Rip Hobbies. Today we're going to go over how I experimented vacuum forming with PLA. So, thank you for watching my first video ever. I hope it goes well. I hope we can do a lot more things in the future that interest you, interest me, interest everyone. So, I don't know if anyone is familiar with the band Devo. In the 80s, probably still around. I know I attended a concert once. Uh, next, well, in a few weeks, I'm going to attend an 80s party, and, and I'm going to dress up as one of the Devo members. One of their iconic signatures is the Red Energy Dome hat. And I could have bought one on Amazon, but I figured, where's the fun in that? I'm going to make my own. So, found the measurements online, and I 3D printed my own. Sadly, all I have is PLA and I don't have ABS or anything like that. And PLA, the glass point, that's the temperature where it melts and starts to get soft, is, I'll, I'll, write, it, I'll, I'll write it all on the screen just to make it easier. And vacuum forming, you have to get the temperatures up pretty high um, I put mine in an oven for at 400 degrees for a couple minutes till it was nice and soft, and then I put it right on. And it didn't work exactly, but I'll show you what I did. I went to the local hardware store and I got this Optex. It's acrylic sheet, and it's pretty thick. I didn't think it was thick at the time. But if I was to do this again, I would definitely get thinner stuff. And I got this frame based off of I Like to Make Stuff. I'll have a link in the description. Go check them out. Fantastic ideas and just the stuff he does is great. So used his same method that he did. Put tape in the corners to kind of help hold the plastic in it. And then tighten all of the screws down. And this acrylic, it melts at a lot higher temperature than the PLA. So I want to make sure everything's tightened down well. Then I kind of wanted to mock it up before I put it in the hot oven. Here I wanted to see exactly how much suction I had with the vacuum. I have a 10 gallon shop vac and it worked pretty good. I wanted to see if I needed to trim up the foil before I put it all together, and I did. It worked, and I was a little concerned that the shape of the foil would be transferred to the plastic. So here are the two models I printed. They're both PLA. They are a very small version of the Devo hat, and trying to get it stuck on there as much as possible. Here, I turned the oven on before I test fitted everything. That's not a good idea. Test fit everything before you introduce heat. So now I'm putting the blocks on because once that plastic does start to melt, it will sink and you don't want to get it on any metal piece or anything in there. Don't mind the clock on here, it doesn't work. It took me about 
three minutes to heat this up. You know how they say uh, water doesn't boil if you watch it. Well, plastic melts if you watch it. So every minute I open it up, took a look around just to see how far it was sinking down. This is sinking down okay, but from the videos I watched, it needs to be a little bit more. So this one, open it up, look down below. Oh yeah, it was ready to go. So, took it out, turned the vacuum on, plopped this right down on it. And I was impressed at how well it vacuumed everything down. And immediately I was a little concerned about the plastic domes. And this is when I really noticed that the plastic was really thick. It was very difficult to move it. It was very hard very very thick actually so now here comes the challenge of trying to get the parts out and the one with the foil came out pretty easy the one that was plastic on plastic I never got that out eventually just had to scrap all of this and throw it away I did go on and measure everything before and after, and even with the foil on there, it shrank the PLA. Not terribly, but still a couple of, still about a millimeter for this whole project. So I wouldn't recommend PLA for any kind of vacuum for me, at least with this thickness. Maybe in a later video, I might try to use a thinner piece of plastic to vacuum form maybe try to get a lower uh, glass point temperature so Okay, so here's the head I, I was going to vacuum form, but after all of that, I don't think I want to chance this hat. I like this one too much, and it took me a couple of days to print it, and I really don't feel like printing another one. And the frame I made is just a little bit too small. You can see I still have this one, and... It's just a play thing for the, my daughters right now. The other one, let's see, this one was covered in foil, and you saw me get it out, but the other one, I never got it out. I took knives to it, pliers, it was melted. So maybe in the future I might try a thinner plastic, and that might help. Um, and if not, I might just try different kind of plastic. See how that works. Okay, well, I need to go get ready for the party. I need to go spray paint the hat. And I hope everyone subscribes, enjoys the channel, leave comments on things you might want to see next. I have a guitar that I'm going to build soon and put that all together. And there's lots of little design modifications for that. So stay tuned. See you later.